everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are taking on a pretty big task of decluttering my nail polish collection. Now, I kind of don't know how it amounted to turn into like this mass of nail polishes. All I know is I most frequently buy my nail polishes when they're on clearance. So it won't be uncommon for me to like still have the stickers attached whether it's from like Big Lots or Target or even Ulta. Like I am so lazy when it comes to taking tags off. So I think that's why it kind of amassed into this because when you just see like a nail polish for like a dollar or two dollars and it's something as good as like OPI, you're just like, oh, I have to have it. And then you just throw it in your drawer and the next thing you know, you have like 20 of the same colors. So I kind of don't know how I'm gonna tackle this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and divide them up by color groups and we'll just tackle it that way so it'll be easier for me to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and sort through everything and then we will come back with our little color collections. Okay, so to get started, I know I'm going to be getting rid of these guys right here. So this one is a Sally Hansen Insta Dry. This is in the shade Orange Impulse. I personally am not a huge wear of orange nail polish so I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one because it is super separated I don't know if you guys can see just how separated it is so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one I'll be getting rid of this one here from China Glaze I picked this one up from Ulta it just looked really pretty in the bottle it kind of has like this duochrome effect to it but on my nails it just didn't perform the way I wanted to it's really sheer and when I wear nail, nail polish, I usually like something super opaque, something I don't have to go over a hundred times. So I will be giving up this one. As well as this little mini SE one, also super separated and there's just no going back. And then this little CoverGirl Outlast Mini, I'm going to also go ahead and get rid of this. Now, even though I don't wear orange a lot, I am going to keep this one because it is the only one in my collection that is genuinely a true orange. And since it's still good and everything like that, I will go ahead and hang on to it just in case I want to do like an accent nail or maybe like this month, it's October, maybe next I'll go ahead and paint my nails orange since it is October. But I don't wear it frequently, but it is one of the only colors in my collection that is genuinely a true orange. So I will be hanging on to that. I think I'm going to go ahead and pass on this one by Station. Um, it's just super light, one, one of those colors that you have to go over multiple times. This should actually be more so in the nude section, I don't know why it's in the orangey coral section, but um, I am going to go ahead and pass on this one. Now for what I have left, I have this Zoya one here, I'm definitely keeping it, I love Zoya nail polishes, they are one of the companies that do have um, a lot of like the bad ingredients in nail polishes, they are free of those, so I definitely will be keeping this one. Additionally, I think I will go ahead and keep this one here by L'Oreal. This is a really nice peach color, and I will go ahead and pass on this one by CoverGirl, because it is pretty similar, it's just a more muted version. So I will keep this one and pass on this. I will go ahead and keep my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. But I do feel like it is really similar to my Zoya one, and since this one has less of the bad ingredients, I will actually pass on this one. And then I will be keeping this one. This one was, I think, from the Hunger Games edition, but um, this is a really fun orangey metallic shade, and I do, I have used this, and since it is small, I do like to use it for, like, little accent nails or anything like that. So out of everything that we started with, I am keeping these four right here and getting rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight colors right there. So I think that is a pretty good start to this video. So moving right along, I my memory card got full, so I had to attend to that real quickly. But moving right along to kind of like the Radiant Orchid kind of shades, the lavenders, things like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be keeping one, two, three, four, five, six down here, and then I will be getting rid of these six up here. Um, these ones here are all by Sally Hansen, at least most of them are by Sally Hansen. 
to how these five right here are and I do love the formula on all of these it's just they've been in my collection for quite a while and they're definitely separated beyond them like reconstituting and becoming like one again so I will be going ahead and giving these up but one of my favorite colors is this one right here is number 270 lacy lilac and i know for sure i've repurchased this color numerous times um and will definitely be doing so after i go ahead and pass on this one because it is lighter than any of the ones i am keeping um and it is a really pretty shade so another color uh, that I really love and have repurchased numerous times is Lively Lilac, which is this one right here, which would probably be one I'd also repurchase, although I feel like um, it's pretty similar. Uh, actually, maybe not because this one does have some shimmer, so I think I might go ahead and repurchase it. But for the meantime, I will go ahead and keep these and enjoy them a little bit. I'm definitely not in any rush, especially after decluttering, to go ahead and like replace everything. Um, so yeah, so these ones I am getting rid of and I will be keeping all of the ones you see here. Moving along to the pinks, which is another category that I really enjoy wearing. Actually, I feel like I enjoy wearing all colors like I'm not really going to discriminate I feel like I'm going to say that with every single like color grouping just because I have so much of every color grouping so I feel like if I have so much of each color grouping it must be because I actually like wearing that color so that's probably going to be my rationale behind everything but um, when dealing with pinks there are a few I'm going to go ahead and get rid of right off the bat and that are that is going to be these four right here um, these once again this one right here in Sonic Boom I absolutely love, but it is super goopy and just not very uh, wearable anymore, so that has to go. This one right here is pretty sheer, and I feel like I'm going to go ahead and be keeping this one. So since I'm doing that, I'm not going to go ahead and hang on to this one. This one right here is by CoverGirl. This is her Glossy Days. It's a nice color. I just feel like I have a couple other ones that are pretty similar. And if I remember correctly, I felt like I did have to build this up. This wasn't just like a one coat wonder. And then last but not least is another Sally Hansen one in the shade Pop of Pink. And this one just needs to go because it is separated and old. Now when it comes down to uh, some of these pinks here, I think I have to decide to pick maybe one or two between these four right here just because I feel like they are very similar. This Sephora one I haven't even opened, which I don't, I don't even know why. Um, but because of that, I think ugh, this is really hard because I do like the formula on a lot of these. But I feel like I'm going to pass this one along to a friend. So now between, between these three, I think I'm going to keep my Julie G one just because I prefer the formula on that one better. But narrowing it down between these two, I feel like this one's just a little bit dustier than this. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep these three. Actually, I'm just going to keep all three of them um, because I did go ahead and get rid of one. So I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and wear each of these. Um, since they're so similar in color, maybe I'll just wear them on like three fingers and then see which formula like wears the best, does it chip as much. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that because they are really similar and I don't think I need three that are that similar. Um, but I don't know, I'm kind of torn between the formula and things like that. Because I really don't remember what the formula is like on this one. And honestly, the Nicole by OPI's, they're hit or miss for me. So it's definitely something I want to go ahead and swatch on my finger to see how it works out. And then I'll go ahead and make a decision from there. As for everything else, I will be keeping um, all of these right here. I love this really bright neon pink, but to be honest with you, it is really streaky and it's definitely one of those neons that you have to like work with, but I only have one neon pink in my collection, so I will be hanging on to this one. And then yeah, this one here by Butter London is holy grail status. I love this. This is in the shade Rosy Lee and it is just the most beautiful glitter I have ever seen. Perfect rose gold. So, so, so pretty. So I will be hanging on to this as well as uh, some of these ones right here just because they're like different finishes and things like that. I do love the Trust Fund Beauty. I went ahead and got this in an Ipsy bag. Um, this Nicole one is just a really pretty like glittery one. I like it because there's so many different size glitters in it and it's really easy to apply. This one right here I just picked up from Kiko which I really love their uh, 
their nail polishes. Um, I have an outlet store near me, so these only cost me a dollar. This one here is a Sephora one. I just got in a like a subscription service bag. This one I'm keeping only because I really like the little polka dots in here, and I have like little um, tools that I use to like pick off the like individual little dots, and I'll like stick them onto my nail. Super tedious, but um, I like the little polka dots, and I don't have anything else in my collection that would give me this kind of little like polka dotted effect. And then last but not least is the CoverGirl um, Outlast, and I really do enjoy that one. So out of the pinks, I am getting rid of five, so not quite as good as the first round, but we are still making progress in making my collection smaller, so I count this as a success. To the blues, I think from this point on, we've done a couple color categories now. I think it's safe to say if I'm getting rid of nail polishes, um, it's gonna be because you know they're old the formula doesn't perform right for like my liking more or less like they're sheer If it's something that's like absolutely atrocious I'll definitely like be sure to point it out But I don't want to like for every single polish I'm getting rid of just be like oh this one's old this one's old this one's old like I feel like it just kind of gets repetitive So for the blues these are all of the ones that I'm keeping I know it might seem like a lot but I feel like all of these colors. I feel like blue is like one of those shades where there's so many variations of it. So I feel like the ones that I'm keeping are a nice mix of truly like distinctive shades from one another. I don't feel like any of them are too similar except for maybe these two. These two might look similar but they are very different formula wise. This one is sheer like almost clear whereas this one is uh, definitely more opaque. Um, but yeah, so these are all of the ones that I am keeping in the blue category. And then I'll just push these down a little bit to make way for some of the ones that I am getting rid of. So these are all of the ones I am getting rid of right here. Um, I'd have to say the only one that formula wise didn't really perform for me is this one right here by Formula X. And usually I love Formula X nail polishes like so much. But I went ahead and got this one on clearance and I don't know if it was like my fault or whatever but this one right here is remember like way back in the day when those crackle nail polishes were super popular like you'd go ahead you'd paint it on and then it would just like crackle on its own like it would crack almost. Um, I remember OPI had one and I remember I hunted it down I was like so excited to have crackle nail polish but that's pretty much what this is I don't know if that's the actual formula or if the formula is just so awful it kind of just does that but I hated this and as you can see it is hella separated like so bad but that's just because the formula in general is bad I don't even know why I hung on to it after the first time I used it I should just toss it right then and there but um, I have to admit I'm a little bit of a hoarder, so that's why I'm uh, still obviously hanging on to it. Um, but other than that, all of these, the formulas, like other than that one, I'd say all the formulas are pretty decent. This one here is the Sally Hansen Sugar Coat. Um, I am keeping one by Nicole in this blue shade, so even though this is a darker one, I just felt like it wasn't necessary to have like a sugar coat like two of them just because it's not something I like go for 100% of the time or often so I figured like one that has like that rough kind of coating to it would be enough um so yeah so I am getting rid of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven from the blue category so pretty decent not too bad my purples and burgundies and I didn't have too too many reds I thought I had a lot more reds than I actually did so there are a couple reds in here as well but um these are all the ones I'm keeping right here. They all are pretty different. These ones seem a little bit similar, but this one's definitely more purple and this one's more pink. And how they actually go on the nails, I know does they do look different. So I am keeping those. And then these three right here look pretty similar. But this one's definitely darker. These two are practically identical. But the reason why I have these two shades is because this one's by L'Oreal and this one I got in last month's Ipsy bag, I believe. This one's by the Be A Bombshell brand. So I am definitely going to go ahead and compare the two to see like which formula I like better, which one lasts the longest on my nails. And then I will go ahead and make my decision based on that. But I don't want to go ahead and get 
rid of one over the other without actually comparing the two formulas side by side because this one right here is part of that it was part of that L'Oreal the gel line where you it was like the two-step system I got this one here because it was on clearance so I don't have the actual L'Oreal like top coat that goes with it but I do have other top coats that I use and I love so I think I feel like the nail polish will perform just as well so yeah I definitely do want to go ahead and test these guys out side by side to see how um another one that I like is this one right here this is the Sally Hansen nail growth miracle I really do like the formula of this the color and everything like that and I don't know if it's a placebo effect or what but I just feel like this does a good job at just strengthening my nails because I do feel like I have really weak nails they take forever to grow they always break so I do really like the nail growth formula so um, I will be keeping this one as well and then yeah I do want to point out this bad boy right here I don't know if this was limited edition or what but if you guys can find this covergirl outlast shade in the color I think it's just 315 I don't think it actually has a name on it that I can see uh, no I do not think but it's in the shade 315 this is the most beautiful rose gold actually this is more of a copper I feel like on nails like copper shade I love this so um, that's one of my favorites and yeah so these are all of the bad boys that I am keeping this Kiko one right here is also really pretty um, I really do enjoy Kiko nail polishes now for ones that I'm getting rid of, that's going to be these eight right here. Um, I'd say the only one that I had a formula issue with was the model's own one. This one was just really clear. It kind of has these like iridescent like flecks of glitter, but it's not glitter. It's more along those like paper looking glitters, if you know what I mean, if that makes any sense. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about in there but this one was just super light I didn't really like it the like glitter particles were like too chunky and usually I don't complain about chunky glitter but I just wasn't feeling that and then most of these are just um like the formulas have gone bad so that's why I'm passing on them but not bad getting rid of eight and then quickly we'll just throw these guys in here just because I don't have too many these are all of my green polishes um, so for these, I am definitely going to go ahead and get rid of these two guys. I do love mint nail polish. This one right here in Mint Azorbe by Sally Hansen is one that I've definitely repurchased. Uh, this one here by the, what is this, this is Maybelline Color Show. It really didn't perform as well as this one, so I never really reached for it. And then this one, you know, just went bad over time. I will be keeping these guys right here as well as this one, this Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I feel like it is pretty similar to this one, but I haven't used this one in a while. And this one's a really new purchase for me, so I do want to go ahead and compare them side by side to see which one will last longer, just because this one supposedly is a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel formula. But if I remember correctly, I feel like this one was really sheer and especially with green nail polishes yeah i can see this one's really sheer okay so because of that i am going to go ahead and pass on this one as well so for my greens and things like that we went ahead and cut it down in half so that's pretty good these are kind of like my pinks and things like that like my baby pinks i guess you could say um so out of these ones everything down here i'm keeping and i also included top coats by the way um or base coats anything clear <laughs> Um, so all of these I am keeping down here. So some of my favorites are the Sally Hansen Nail Growth as well as my Essie No Chips Ahead. Um, I love these two for a base coat, this one here, and the top coat. So I do really like those. Those are some of my favorites. But yeah, I am going to go ahead and keep all of these. Um, I have to see how this one performs on the nails. I'm not sure if it went totally bad yet or anything like that. So I will keep it just because this color right here from OPI is like holy grail, favorite color ever. I don't know why, but I just love this one so much. And this is in the shade Mod About You. 
Um, this one and this one I'm kind of really disappointed in because I went ahead and I got them. I don't remember where I got them. I think I got them at kind of like this like discount beauty supply shop. And I'm pretty sure like when I got them they were already half bad. So for most part they've kind of not been performing how I wanted them since day one. This one was better than this one right here. And this one's just ancient. I mean, the name on it is Pink of Hearts 2009. So I can only imagine, we're into like 2016 here, so I can only imagine like how old this is. So, um, yeah, so these ones kind of didn't perform, but I love this shade. It is just too thick and it goes on really streaky now, so that's a disappointment. This one right here is also another favorite of mine. I went ahead and got this. This is like a point perk at Sephora. And this is in the shade Perfection. And I have to say, this was Perfection. It was the most beautiful, like, neutral brown shade. And, oh my gosh, it was such a favorite of mine. It's just, uh, it kind of has gone bad. Like, it doesn't perform the way it used to. It chips really easily. It kind of just doesn't stick to my nails anymore. Um, so this one has to go... Then these other two right here are also favorites of mine. This one right here is the Sally Han not Sally Hansen, OPI Original Nail Envy. I used to use this to strengthen my nails, but to be honest with you, as much as I use it, I really don't think it works as well as my Sally Hansen one, so um, I don't think I will go ahead and repurchase it. Plus, this one smells awful. Like, I don't know if it's going to focus there. Maybe? Yeah. Um, but this one smells awful, like super smelly, along with this one right here. This is the Sush V uh, top coat, but even though this smells like cancer and it's really strong, this one keeps my nail polishes on like none other. Like I tell you guys, like even compared to my Essie No Chips Ahead, like this one is like the ultimate top coat if you really want to keep your nail polish on for forever. So I will go ahead and repurchase this. This one has just gone really thick and goopy and just doesn't, like I can't apply it to my nails anymore because it just ends up ruining my manicure underneath. Plus this stuff dries in two seconds, which is why I use it because I am super impatient and this stuff dries your nails quicker than anything else I've ever tried, even faster than my Sally Hansen Insta Dry. So that's that so yeah so these are all of the ones i'm getting rid of we are getting rid of nine and keeping ten so we are almost cutting this uh little section here in half which is pretty good so i am happy about that but this one's probably going to be the hardest one for me i think this is the one that i kind of have the most of and i'd say i kind of have this in my metallic most of these are metallics i do have a couple random ones in here like this neon yellow which um once again, the orally neons, I'm really not a fan of. I feel like I have to do multiple coats, then they get streaky, but since it's the only one of my kind and I can make it work after working for it, I am going to go ahead and keep that. Um, but as far as everything else, all these guys down here, I am keeping some of my standout favorites is this one by Formula X. This is in the shade revved up. I went ahead and got this in an ipsy bag. Beautiful metallic, light metallic shade. Then this one right here by Kiko. This is one of their quick dry and this is in the shade 858. This one's absolutely stunning. I get so many compliments from every single customer when I'm at work whenever I wear this shade. So I absolutely love this one. Then these guys right here, this one right here by L'Oreal, this is in the shade K801. Oh, it's in, actually no, that's not the shade. It's called Rough Around the Edges 139. And it's actually what I have on my nails right now. So I have it in this black and it's super glittery. I really love it. And I also have it in this shade, which is more of like a midnight blue. Like it almost looks like black, but it's actually a little bit of a blue. Um, tone to it and this is called Totally Decord and this is in the shade number 703. So these are also some of my favorites. I love this little guy right here. This is really fun to put on top of any nail polish because it's a clear coat and then it just goes ahead and has all of these uh, black and white polka dots in it and it just adds like a fun pop to um, you know any nail polish and things like that. And yeah, those are some of my standout favorites. Naturally, my Insta Dry polishes are also in here because they are favorites of mine. I love the way they perform and everything like that. So I am keeping a lot of these, but no, not to worry. I am getting rid of these guys right here. So 
formula performance this one here by Nicole was freaking awful I don't even know what I was thinking I don't know why I ever thought this color would look good but um, I'm pretty sure I picked this up from like TJ Maxx or something like that so that's why I have it and this is in the shade lemon lime twist but super pale just not pretty at all this right here is the sally hansen color foil um it's like a metallic silver um i liked it i do have other metallic silvers that i felt performed better but um this one kind of like sticks to itself and streaks and it chips really really quickly so that one's going um this one here this hard as nails one by sally hansen it's good i just have i'm keeping like three silvers that I feel like are pretty similar even though this one is a little more of a blue base I feel like it's not different enough to keep when I'm already keeping three so that's why I'm getting rid of this one and then yeah just some of these shades like I don't know like this gold once again a color that just does not look good on me uh this shade right here is just a gross shade I don't like it at all <laughs> Um, and then yeah, just a pretty basic gray, um, but I feel like when I'm wearing a gray, I rather not have a matte gray, and I rather have a shimmery gray, so that's why I'm getting rid of that one. And then just this one right here, as beautiful as it is, and as much as I hate to get rid of it, I feel like since I am keeping these two, which they are like totally different, um, I feel like this one right here by Nailtini is pretty similar, so... Um, and this one gives you a more even spread of glitter, whereas this one you, like, really have to work for. And then I find that you end up just glooping on, like, ten layers. As much as I wish, like, my nails would just, like, look like how it looks in the bottle, it usually doesn't work out that way. So that's why I am passing on this one here. Final counts are in, and I am getting rid of 59 nail polishes, which are all the ones that you see here. I am keeping 79, so I didn't quite cut my collection in half, but nonetheless, I still feel like this is a good amount to get rid of. I am going to go ahead and pick out which ones are still good and everything like that and pass those along to friends. And then if you guys have, like, disposed of your nail polishes before in a method other than just throwing them in the trash, definitely let me know, like, what you guys did in the comments below because I kind of just don't want to throw this much nail polish in the trash because I know it's just going to end up in a landfill or something like that and I don't know if you guys have smelled the nail polish before but these are definitely like toxic chemicals that I'd rather not have you know leaching into our environment polluting our environment and things like that so if you guys know of a way another way that you dispose of them definitely let me know in the comments below I am definitely for sure going to research um if there's maybe like a chemical like recycling facility or something like that nearby um because I will go ahead and definitely take them there I try my best to not have them end up in just a landfill somewhere so yeah I hope you all really enjoyed watching this video I do want to let you guys know that I appreciate you guys so much and I really um, am glad that you decided to take the time to go ahead and declutter with me a little bit here we tackled nail polishes today so definitely be on the lookout for more decluttering videos. I do have quite a few to come. I've kind of been delaying my eyeshadow because my eyeshadow collection, like my single eyeshadows, is out of control. So that one will probably be a two-parter. So if you are interested in seeing more decluttering videos, definitely give this one a thumbs up. And subscribe if you aren't already so you can be notified when I do post a new one. So yeah, that's all I wanted to let you guys know. I thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.